uh, when the whistle went, and uh, it's been really impressive to see the coming together of the global soccer community. And what a start. Right away, you see Edward Kiza getting into the mix. It'd be interesting to see. And Nico Campathano, Rafael Crivello, Bryce Washington, Arturo Ordonez, and Jasper Loffelson. Two of those guys are brand new as this shot, excuse me, deflection goes wide. In the midfield, Jackson Walty, the captain, Velko Petkovic, an upstart season last year. Philip Mirkovic, Bertine Jackson, a new forward for Jay Vitovich's side. And there's Edward Bine for a ton of goals a season ago. Yeah, I think Pitt returns um, of the 36 goals they scored last year. Oh, there's a good chance. Of Pitt's 36 goals last year, they return uh, 32 of those goals. So that's really uh, a lot of returning firepower, whereas for Louisville, they lost 20 of their, go their 27 goals last year. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, even if that means sometimes you get your butt kicked, uh, that's sometimes what it takes to see where you're trying to get to. Abdi Kadir pushing forward, gets fouled. He'll get a free kick from that spot. John Michael Hayden was talking this week that he'd like to see his team possess the ball a bit more than they had uh, last season. That was one of the improvements that he was looking to make. Uh, so, But you can see they're feeling it, and they're definitely wanting to get on the score sheet tonight. So uh, I think you're going to continue to see Pitt push you on this. Uh, but obviously, I th when you're hobbled by injuries, you're not able to put in, uh, you know, the, the best performance of yourself and, and being healthy is a center. ...knows who Bruno Lapa is, and that is who Fonseca's head coach compared him to. Bruno Lapa program, and he was also on Matt Herman watch list. This ball is crossed in for Jackson, can't get there. Fonseca and Elvaroth, their impact for Louisville could be crucial to this team and what they do this year. And they were picked fifth, fifth in the North region, David. And when we asked John Michael Hayden about that, he said, it's just fuel. It yeah. doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I mean, uh, given the fact that they went to the, the third round of NCAA tournament last year, I think uh, obviously there, there's some proof there that they to win the national title. He scored those goals in the tournament against those two teams, similar to Bruno Lapa and can unlock defenses. Kiza couldn't get on the end of one. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't bury that. Uh, I think he might have thought he was offside, but you can tell yeah. he thinks he should have buried it as well. But uh, that will keep him. That will keep him uh, hungry. He immediately looked over at the side judge, wondering why that wasn't blown dead. And we've seen Dexter get loose down the left side a few times and have the time to be able to put that ball into the box. So uh, Louisville's really going to have to tighten up a bit on Dexter. And that combination of Dexter. Louisville out the back. Washington and Ordonia as the center backs for Pittsburgh. David, Jay Vidovich talked to us a lot last year about those two and how much he likes their size and strength. As guys at center back and uh, in ACC, those guys are going to be challenged. Kamara, Fonseca tonight, but every game out uh, is a real challenge. Bians and some Spaniards, uh, players from all over the world. So it's a very diverse team uh, here. 18 of the 30 rostered players for Jay Vidovich coming from other countries. You see th three. Frenchmen and Spaniards, as you said. Petkovic. Uh, it's good to see people going both ways. Jackson, nifty moves into the center. Just missed the left foot of Kiza. He's kicking himself again. And I think that they're going to continue to uh, probe. I see uh, Elvaroff has moved over to the left side now and switched with Diaz. So uh, they're, they're doing some different. For now, it's Falsoni back to Gelnovac. He didn't want it. He said, what are we doing here? More possession. Um, here you see Pitt now countering again. Great ball from Kiza. Another one from Jackson. Petkovic couldn't get a left foot on it. Multiple chances into the middle. Kiza, it's in the back of the net. Well, they kept working at it, didn't they? They didn't let the play die. And there's number nine popping up with the goal. He brought his lunch pail to work today. Digging holes after he scores the goal. Dexter kept it alive over on the far side, was able to pull it back and, and play it in for Kiza. How many times have we seen that combination? 
Pekovic had the best chance at it originally, originally, but it all started with Kiza, and then he ends things. If Bertin Jackson gets the ball across, Pel Pekovic can't quite finish. Dexter's there to keep it alive. Kiza sniffing around, toe pokes it in. That's what you like to see. Whoop. Just gorgeous, and it, it's been going on all game, basically. How many looks have they had, and finally, Kiza makes it happen. Panthers go up one to nothing as we take a hydration break. In the 26th minute here, Kiza scores. And Louisville's had to pay more attention to it than maybe a lot of different schools. They had some issues with COVID-19 at the beginning of August. The first week of August, 29 student athletes at Louisville across four sports teams. But there he is again, popping up <laughs> at the back post. Kiza finds Pe Pekovic, it kind of ricochets uh, off a defender, Falsoni. Easy pickings for Alexander Dexter. I mean, these guys are just so hungry and that's where I think taking that job and running with it now. And here comes Dexter again up top. It's a two-on-one for Pittsburgh. Dexter fires and scores again. Louisville's heads are down. Dexter can be do nothing but be happy right now. Look at this. The Panthers are just having so much fun. This is what you want to see from a soccer team that finally gets to play on their home field after months of being away. Great attack and play by Pittsburgh right now. Uh, they're just really feeling it. Louisville is struggling to contain them. Dexter just took it through himself. He's, he just beat the right back and took it through and beat the goalkeeper. I mean, there's nothing more to it than that. He's just... He 2017, he made the ACC's all-freshman team, had six goals, burst onto the scene. Last year was a little bit up and down, but Jay Vidovich at the end of the year was pleased with his conference thing kicked off, which is not something that the Panthers necessarily did last year. They maybe found that wrinkle toward the end. Of Even if you made one substitution, it kind of stopped whatever momentum you had. So um, sometimes as a coach, you just got to stay out of the way. The top forward for John Michael Hayden is a freshman, and he scored 56 goals in 76 games with the Philadelphia Union U-17 team. Wow. This it's one loose, Petkovic can't get it to go. Will there be a foul? Dexter. Um, just really good, strong attacking players that, that form a dangerous uh, core for this pit team. One of the funniest comments, I think, at least to me, that came out of Jay Vidovich's mouth when we spoke to him. We were talking about the formation. And Here he is, getting past the right back, providing service to Velko. Velko looking with the left foot, crosses into the middle, turned away. And I think... Kiza was streaking into the six yard box looking to get on the end of that again and Louisville defense did a good job getting it out but they forced another corner. Sebastian Falsoni leaking in there to turn it away. Another corner for Pittsburgh, their fourth of the evening. This one's gonna come out short. Now toward the box again, still loose. I believe it was Falsoni again turning it away. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Pitt scored two off corners last weekend, so that's another component of their attack. But Louisville's done a good job of the beat. Jake Gelnovac, the son of George Gelnovac, Virginia head coach. Virginia ending up in the national title game last year and falling to Georgetown. Who, by the way, Louisville handed Georgetown their lone loss last year in the regular season, and Georgetown knocked Pitt out of the NCAA tournament. So both these teams familiar with the national champion from a year ago. And then Georgetown came back and got Louisville later in the season. That was who knocked Louisville out of the uh, out of the national tournament That's last right. year. So both both of these teams had their season ended by Georgetown. Um, I think Pitt, Pitt was 5 nothing and Louisville was 5-1. So Georgetown definitely uh, has had firepower and was an extremely strong team last season as well. So, um, But Louisville did get them. But it looks like a fantastic place to see a soccer game down there and uh, a great atmosphere at the games. Hopefully they'll be able to have people there soon. Ball leaking forward here. A chance for Pittsburgh. Gelnovac there again. That was Jackson over at the far post. Didn't quite get all of it. And it's uh, interesting he switched sides now. He's taking that Dexter role 
speed, just beautiful off the left side. Panthers really played through him throughout the first half. You see the advantage in the shot category, 9-2 to two in Pitt's favor. And the shots by Louisville weren't the greatest. The, the best chance came from Pedro Fonseca off of a free kick, which I guess you could expect. And then the corner kicks, 5-1 to one in favor of the Panthers as well. Just much more aggressive on the offensive end. And Louisville having a lot of trouble keeping. Well, has nothing going forward right now. How do you get them going? Well, I mean, it's fairly simple in the fact, and I've, I've said this many times in my life, but there's no place to hide. You know, there is no place for, for Louisville to hide right now. So you're either going to show up and, and, and fight uh, to make to get back in the game and, and keep Pitt off the scoreboard, and that's what's going to happen. I, I, I'm sure that uh, midfield role with Sinokas come on down here in the outside right position. But here's trouble. Kicked out of there. Let's take a look at the chin as well, and you wonder, is, is there something to the stress maybe of traveling for the first time or the second time with COVID-19 and all the different things that you have to deal with, whereas the Panthers slept in their own apartments last night as Keyes is now taken down in the box. No call. Ball still loose. It settles with Pitt. And so maybe a sluggish start by Pitt on Sunday against Wake Forest, a sluggish start by Louisville here. You wonder about those different things in these times. Gelnovac, a nice play out of the line. That's a really strong tackle by Sample there, getting back, winning the ball, uh, you know, quite possibly prevents a, a goal or at least a goal scoring opportunity. That's a really good tackle uh, from Bradley Sample. Sample, one of those big returners for Louisville. 15 starts in 20 games last year. His only goal came in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and he almost had one here. Too. Good, so I think that there's a, a lot of good soccer here um, and you're seeing the benefits of it. I mean, there's, there's America. Kiza being active, this one punted away. Falsoni has really been the guy back there. If there's been a clear out, it's usually him on the ball. Oh, good for him, you know. I mean, he's been challenged tonight. The, the game's not necessarily going the way he wants it to, but um, he's he's battled really hard and he's he keeps working and he's keeping his goalie as clean of um, practices to be able to tweak this team, to improve this team, to get him to, to work more cohesively. And each timeout is you know, a challenge to, to your... Pekovic now is probably looking to get on the score sheet himself. Ball in from Cravello. Beautiful strike on the opposite side. Valentin Noel on the other end of a cross from Crivello. That Panthers. was the French connection right there, Kevin. First time we've seen it for this pit team. Cravello to Noel. I think we're going to see the French connection a few times this season. Pekovic knocks it off, lays it off for Cravello. He just picks him out at the far post. Look at this. That is really nice. On the volley, side panel. Thank you very much. Valentin Noel out of midair. Bang. Now Dexter pushing forward. Taken away by Fastine. It's been really interesting to see uh, just just how the, the pit teams come together in terms of bringing in the new guys. See there, Murkovic, one of those new guys playing it out to Loffelson, another one of those new guys. Uh, so interesting to watch how those players have combined, how they've been able to work together, develop understanding. Um, and it's also obviously going to be interesting to see how they, you know, where they are in year five of the Vidovic era um, and what's what's to come. But, you know, they really, the senior class specifically, you know, he talks about how they made, made Pitt into something, you know, and, and made them relevant on the national, national scene. But he's really challenged these guys to be selfless, to play for the team. Um, and they, they've worked real hard to be a more unified team moving forward. Pitt still possessing in the offensive end. You mentioned it, I mean, the... The strength of schedule for Pitt last year was absolutely ridiculous. If you really look at it and the opponents that Jay Vidovich put on his schedule. Then they play the number one Wake Forest Demon Deacons here on this field. They lose 
They beat Akron. They beat number one Virginia on the road. They take down NC State. They play number two for two more times, Clemson and Georgetown. And, of course, both of those come as losses. Georgetown more significant than the Clemson loss. But, I mean, you just look at that barrage of games on that schedule, and it's unbelievable as they score again. Let's tally another one. Five to nothing, and Petkovic, who's been sniffing for one all night long, finally bangs one in. Yeah, and you see the two Serbians celebrating there. Petkovic has been looking <laughs> for one all night. It's good to see them enjoying it. You know, you talk about a, a more unified team. They look pretty unified there, you know. Um, and Petkovic wasn't going to be denied.